UJT or unijunction transistor can be understood by understanding the three aspects of UJT that is construction of UJT, working of UJT and the VI CARA of UJT. If you know all these things, please don't waste your time. Otherwise, we can go into each of this and understand what a UJT is. Okay. First, we are going to consider construction of UJT. This is how construction of UJT looks like. It has three terminals V1, V2 and emitter. Okay. This V1, V2 are connected to the base. The base is here an n-type material which is lightly doped. That is base is made up of lightly doped n-type material and this emitter is made up of heavily doped p-type material. Okay. And it is having one junction, one PN junction. So it is called uni junction transistor. Okay. This is all about the construction of UJT. Here the resistance between B2 and B1 when emitter is open is called interbase resistance. Okay. Which is called otherwise called RBB or interbase resistance that is the resistance between B2 and B1 when emitter is open. Okay. This is how the construction of UJT look like. Now symbolically we can represent a UJT like this. This is B1, this is B2 and this is emitter. This emitter is formed with an arrow. Okay, this is the symbolic representation of UJT. Now, next we have to consider the equivalent circuit of UJT. The equivalent circuit looks like this. Okay, this point we can call A. This is nothing but B2, this is B1. Okay, this resistance is called RB1, this resistance is called RB2. Okay, this is the equivalent circuit of UJT. Here, this diode represents this PN tension. Okay, this is the equivalent circuit. Now, from this equivalent circuit, we can get the voltage V A V1 as. Let's say we apply voltage across B1 and B2 as VBB. When VBB is applied across base B1 and B2, V A B1 equal to VBB divided by RB2 plus RB1. RB1 into RB1. This is just voltage division principle. Okay, so VAB1 we get this and we call this value RB1 by RB2 plus RB1 as intrinsic ratio, intrinsic standard ratio. This is represented by the letter eta. So we can call VAB1 as eta V. B. Okay. This is all about the construction and the equivalent circuit of what UJT. Now we are going to discuss the working of UJT. For that we have considered an equivalent circuit here. And some voltages are applied here. VE is applied. And between B2 and B1 we apply VBB. As we know from the earlier discussion of construction the VAB1 voltage is nothing but eta into VBB. Here, initially VE is 0 so that this diode will be, emitter based diode will be reverse biased. For a UJT, there are two conditions that is turn on condition and turn off condition. UJT is said to be turned on when this emitter based junction is forward biased and 
it is said to be turned off when this emitter base junction is reverse biased. Okay, initially it is in turned off condition. That is V E is zero, and here this voltage is beta V B B. So here low voltage, here high voltage. This is reverse biased. Okay, it is in turned off condition. Now we increase the value of V E E. Okay, we increase V E E. For first, we consider this condition. That is. The value of V E that is in between the emitter and base one is less than eta V B B plus V B. Here this is eta V B B and this is V B. When V E is less than eta V B B plus V B, that means this diode is reverse biased. Okay, that is emitter base one is reverse biased. So I E will be zero or maybe some leakage current may be flowing. So this is in reverse condition. Still, it is in turned off condition. Now we are again increasing the value of V E such that this V E becomes equal to eta V B B plus V D, so that this emitter base now become forward biased. Okay, when E B B is forward biased, what happens? I E become increasing. Okay, I E increases. Okay, now what happens when I E increases? Okay, here the base is made up of low doping material, and the P layer is made up of highly doped semiconductor material. Okay, when I E increases, the resistance of this base decreases. That is, R B one decreases. When R B one decreases. This is nothing but the voltage across R B one is application of voltage division rule. When R B one decreases, the voltage across this will be decreases. Okay. When this voltage decreases and this voltage remains same, the difference in this voltage between V E and eta V B B what is decrease increases. So I E also increases. When I E increases, the R B one again decreases. This regenerative process continues until the base become saturated with holes. Okay, when this happens, the resistance cannot be decreased any further. It attains its minimum value. At that time, this voltage V A B is called valley voltage. Okay, now this is how a U J T is turned on. That is applying. An emitter base voltage equal to eta V B B plus V D, we can turn on a U J T, and cumulative process continues, and this voltage attains a value, value voltage V B. Now we have to turn off this device or U J T again. For that, what he we have to do is decrease this V E voltage below V B. Okay, by decreasing this V E, we can decrease V E. So that at some point this V E become less than V B. So what happens here? V B is applied through this point here. Less than V E here. Less than V B. So that here higher potential and here lower potential. Since this is a P N junction, this become reverse biased. When a metal base is reverse biased. I E becomes zero, so the U J T is turned off. This is how the U J T works. Now we are going to discuss V A Kara of U J T. V A Kara is nothing but the Kara between the emitter voltage and the emitter current. Okay. Initially, the emitter voltage is zero. That is, V E is zero. At that time, here the voltage is eta V B B. Okay, so a reverse current I E flows. That value is this much. Then V E increases. What happens? The difference between V E and eta V B B decreases. So I E decreases, and it reaches zero when this value V E is equal to eta V B B. So here the voltage is nothing but eta. V B B. At this point, the emitter current is zero. Again, V E is increased, and it 
then it is increase this become little uh, the current starts to follow from this emitter to base in forward direction and ie increases and when this voltage ve reaches ve equal to eta vvv plus vd then this diode is said to be forward biased or we can say say emitter base junction is forward biased that voltage is called peak point voltage or vp at vp this emitter base is forward biased and large value of current emitter current flows through this base when this happens the regenerative process begins that is the resistance rb1 decreases so in effect ie increases so that rb1 again decreases this cumulative regenerative process continues and it ends when this base is saturated with the holes at that point the voltage between a and b1 that is theta vv is equivalent to voltage valley voltage that voltage is this point okay up to this point regenerative process continues after this point what happens if we increase this ve ve increases the potential difference increases the current ie increases linearly okay to turn off what we have to do as we said earlier we can decrease the value of ve so that ve become less than this ve so that this diode become reverse mass and this UJT is turned off okay so that is why this VI kara of UJT look like this this region from this point to this point is called cutoff region and this region is called negative resistance region and this is called saturation region okay here we call this as negative resistance region because when we here the current value is increased at that same times the voltage value is decreased that is when ve is decreased the current ie is increased so it is called negative resistance region in usual cases when voltage increases current also increases that is positive resistance region here when ve decreases the current increases so this is called negative resistance region this is all about the VA kara of region thank you for watching these videos